It's K-pop reaction time. Ah, yeah. Hey, today we got a video from... Sight. Sight. <laughs> That's right. We're going back to old school. Wow. To his Gundam style video, which I don't think I've seen now in six, seven years. I mean, the video came out in 2012, Lulu. Dang. This was a song that honestly broke the K-pop world wide open to so many people here in America. For the first time, huh? For the first time, for yeah. It wasn't like the first wave, I think, for K-pop. I mean, this song went hugely viral, viral everywhere in the world. And honestly, by then, Sai was already pretty big in Korea. He's already had like a dozen or so songs released. He was already up to his sixth album. The dude was already prolific. But yeah. this was what took him to worldwide fame. And quite frankly, he also changed the name of the game. What's that? What's the game? The game as a music artist was always about record sales. How many records can you sell? And he proven for the first time, really on a global scale, if you can make it big on YouTube, you can make it big as an international star, as an international singer. This song was the first one that cracked through a billion views first. And it was unheard of because at that time you had songs like Justin Bieber, all these Western hits that everyone thought dominated the charts on YouTube. And mm. boom, all on comes side and proves, nah, nah, y'all don't get the game. You need to be making a video like this. <laughs> I remember this music video was so memorable. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just the music video, the song. The, the song hook. was so good, the hook. And the dance move. Mm -hmm. And he's one of those talents that has always broken the mold, if you will. A single K-pop star who basically creates all his own stuff. I uh, know. He doesn't even look like a typical K-pop artist. star, He's yes. kind of chunky. <laughs> but man, when he moves, oh, he's so good. He is definitely a very good dancer. Oh. So yeah, this song for me was just, there was so much about it that I was really proud of. Mm -hmm. As someone who was Asian American who saw someone like him, who had the same body shape as me, <laughs> quite frankly, um, and who made it this big, made me very proud. And the fact that so many people here in America, at first they were like, what is this thing? This is the corniest, dumbest thing. It's just like today's version of Old Town Road, mm. a viral hit for the time. That's right. Well, I'm wondering, how is he doing now? He continues to make music. <laughs> He's actually started up his own company. He wants to take on one of the big three in Korea. One and he's recruited three. the big three K-pop companies. So he has his own company and he's signing up artists. Amazing. Hugely talented. But I think because of his wisdom now and how this industry works, mm. oh, I think he's going to be great. Like I wish I was still young enough. And I wish I even had a modicum of talent that I would say, hey, Sai, I want to join your stable. I would rather join his stable than, than any of the other K-pop companies mm. out there. Well, let's watch this again after six, seven years. Mm-hmm. It's gonna feel fresh. Yeah. All right, let's check it out. And away we go. God, I love the hook right off the bat. He's so silly. I remember the kid. Oh, that's right. He's got crazy moves. Look at that. Oh my gosh. He's got so much sass. Oh my god, he's so good. Big explosion! Gangnam Style! 
running away. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember those dance moves. Everybody was doing them. Uh. You know what's funny? He did so much research about like, what to do with this dance move. He was trying to figure out what move could I do <laughs> that was gonna take off. And he went through the whole animal kingdom. He had a panda dance, like a monkey dance. I mean, literally, oh, he came goodness. up with all sorts of crazy moves around animals and he finally settled, riding a horse. This is what's gonna take off. And he spent a lot of time trying to get the dance moves right. Sexy lady. <laughs> oh. Oh, neck. That's like a highlighter. <laughs> I remember this scene. <laughs> oh my god, his face! Oh my god! Oh my god! Open Gangnam Star Gangnam Star Open Gangnam Star So random Sexy lady Oh my god, I forgot how good this was, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> dance off. What is this? Gangnam Star. Holy oh, lordy. Oh gosh. The best. Oh god. What an iconic. Is that iconic movie? That was That's absolutely right. iconic. I mean, next to the word <laughs> iconic in the dictionary is of his face. His <laughs> side. It is just oh. an amazing song. It's like no wonder it went viral. Although I think. It went viral even without the music video, but the music video was absolutely the thing that like, everyone shared on the internet. Mm, exactly, because it's just like random. Random, but it fits to... The reason why I think this is such a powerful piece, why I think it's such a great example of what K-pop could be, is that it didn't follow a formula that you tend to think of like K-pop's produced like in a company. You know what I'm oh. saying? It's like, it's all produced. Right. He was able to completely just throw that out the window, make fun of himself at the same time, <laughs> write a catchy hook, still have the amazing performance, still have the amazing production values that went beyond most things that you see in an American music video. And so to see this for the first time, you literally have to watch it three, four times to pick up on all the ridiculous stuff that somehow he's able to shove into one video. Oh my goodness. Like those dancers were like <laughs> with the wind, they were like trash. Do you and, imagine and like, like if you're the <laughs> if you're like size choreographer, he's like, no, no, this is too serious. I want something like where you have to crawl through the lady's legs and you're dry humping the ground. I need something more of that. And you're like, 
I did not become a famous dancer to come up with stupid stuff like dancing on a horsey hill. Oh my goodness. Oh, that lady with the pink at the end, it looks like she is famous, huh? She is actually. I think she, I don't remember who she was. But she is a famous K-pop idol as well. Oh, yeah. I figured because she's... I just realized that now that we are watching this again. See, I see. Oh, gosh. I love this Oh, my this God. Sai is just an icon. You are absolutely right. And I'm really an glad icon. that we're doing this because I'm hoping today's younger generation... We have a lot of younger viewers from our K-pop stuff. But if you haven't seen Sai, boom, right there. This is what it's all about. Uh-huh. This is when... I was also shocked. He's so fluent with English when yeah, he, he studied overseas. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. right? Because we saw his interview and I was shocked. And I said, John, why is he so like fluent? So I think every one of his videos after this continues to like capture that absolute insanity of what he's all about. They're just as crazy in terms of what the song's about. Mm -hmm. It's just as crazy with the hook, just as crazy with the visuals. So if you want us to do more reactions to Psy, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Let us know. You know what I'm saying? Leave comments like, boo, I want more Psy. <laughs> and of course, make sure you do a Gundam stat on that subscribe uh, button. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, subscribe button, subscribe Cause, cause, button. Subscribe, That's subscribe right. button. Subscribe so that we'll do be the gun doing the Gundam. Style That's right. Dance. Do the do the horsey dance on that subscribe button 